so much for tuning in for this video. Today we are going to be learning a classic tune, which is classic for a reason. It's called Aaron Boat Song, and it's really pretty simple. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to learn this tune, and then you can play it and impress all your friends. It's also super beautiful. Sometimes the simplest fiddle tunes I find are the most gorgeous. If you'd like sheet music and practice tracks for this tune, and also the variation that I'm going to teach, as well as a harmony and backup parts and a chord chart, you can get all of that at the link in the description. All right, let's go for it. We are going to learn Aaron Boat Song. All right, so before we embark on learning this tune, let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, that is the tune, and today we're gonna to be learning it by ear, and it always helps me to listen to a tune a bazillion times before I start learning it, if I'm gonna learn it by ear. Then I kinda of have the idea of the tune in my head. I know what I'm shooting for while I'm trying to learn it by ear. But I'm also going to be putting the sheet music up on the screen today so that you can follow along with that too. It's color-coded because I literally cannot help myself. I have to color code pretty much everything in my life. Notes on the D string are gonna be green, A string purple, E string pink. So once you've listened to the tune a few times, let's start out by figuring out what our finger placements will be for this tune. So we're gonna be in the key of E Dorian. You don't have to worry about what a Dorian scale is. We're just gonna play it. So it starts with your first finger on the D string. Play an E note, and it's gonna go like this. One, two, three. Open A. Then on the A string, one, two, three. Then the open E string. In this tune, we're also going to have a low second finger on the E. So let's find our E string notes as well. Open E, first finger, and then low second finger. Now that we have our finger placements for the tune, let's try getting a sense of the rhythm of it as well. Iron Boat Song is a waltz. That means it's in three, four time. There are three quarter notes per measure. Again, you don't really have to worry about that too much. We just gotta play it. So the feel of the tune will be one, two, three, one, two, three. And the rhythm is gonna sound like this, pretty much all the way through the tune. So you kinda have that longer first note, that's a dotted quarter, shorter, and then medium long. 
So let's get into the feel of that, just playing on an open D. Enough of that, let's actually learn it. I'm gonna teach this tune by call and response. So that means I'm gonna play a small phrase and then you at home can try playing it back. One of the wonderful things about YouTube is you can pause and you can take your time sort of sorting through the notes. Trial and error is a good way to do this. Just try a bunch of notes and see what sounds right, trying to imitate what I'm playing. You can also check out a video that I made about learning by ear, which will give you some helpful hints. As with many fiddle tunes, this tune has an A part, which is the first part of the tune, and a B part, which is the second part of the tune. And in Aaron Boat Song, the A part is played twice. So starting with that A part, let's play the first phrase. It starts with your first finger on the D string and it'll go like this. One, two, three. All right, let's try that. So on the D string, that's one, two, one. And then on the A string, it's one, two, three. Putting that together, it sounds like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's try that one last time. Nice job, let's go on to the second phrase. So the second phrase is gonna sound like this. One, two, three. little sequence of notes twice. It's just open A, second finger on D, open D, and then you do that again. A to D. Let's try that. One, two, three. One more time. to that point of the tune. So if you remember, we started with your first finger on the D string, and it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three. Let's try that again. the next phrase. The next phrase is going to sound familiar because it's exactly the same as the first phrase. All right, so let's go for it. Starting with that first finger on the D string, it'll sound like this. One, two, three. Remember that? Let's try it. One, two, three. One, two, one, and then one, Last time. And just like that, we are closing in on the end of the A part. Here's the final phrase of the A part. It sounds like this. One, two, three. Not terribly complicated. So it starts with your open A, goes to that second finger on D, open D, and then we just end with the first finger on the D. Let's try that. One, two, three. One last time. Okie dokie, so let's string together those last two little phrases we did. So this is the second half of the A part. It starts with that first finger on the D string. One, two, three, one, two, three. One more time. So we have 
haven't played the entire A part, let's try putting it all together, starting from the very beginning. So here's how it will sound. One, two, three. And let's try that again. So starting with that first finger on the D string, one, two, are going on to the B part of the tune. We actually only play the B part once. So in the B part, we're going to move up to the E string. So we're starting out on your open E, and here's how the first phrase goes. One, two, three. All right, so the fingering for that is gonna be open E, one, open, and then low two on the E, remember? So that's close to your first finger. Then one, then open E. So let's try that. One, two, three. One more time. Okay, moving on, we are going to go over to the third finger on the A string for this next phrase. It'll sound like this. One, two, three. So your fingering there is third finger on A, first finger, third finger on D, open A, second finger on D, open D. So let's try that. One, two, three. One more time. All right, so here's what we have of the B part so far, starting on that open E. One, two, three, one, Two, three. One more time. The next phrase, again, it'll sound familiar. It's the first phrase of the B part. Again, here's how it goes, starting on that open E. One, two, three. So that's open, one, open, low two, one, open. Let's try that. One, two, three. Next phrase is going to start with your third finger on the A string and it'll go a little something like this. One, two, three. So that starts with the third finger on A, three, one, three, and then open E. All right, let's put those last two little phrases together. This is the second line of the B part, starting with your open E. One, Two, three. One, two, three. And one more time. For 
from here to the end of the tune, surprise, you actually know all of this. That is because this next line is the same as the first line of the B part. So let's play that again. It starts with your open E string. One, two, three. One, two, three. For good measure, let's play that again. is the same as the second line of the A part. Let's resurrect that. It's been a while. So it starts with your first finger on the D string and it goes like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's play that again. is the whole thing. Let's try the whole B part. It's a little long, but we can do it. So going way back, we're starting with that open E string. One, two, three. One, two, three. E again. One more time. First finger on D. Okay, one more time through the B part just to make sure we got it. the whole thing. Let's play it all the way through from the A part through to the end of the B part. So we're going to go A, A, remember we're playing that twice, and then the B part once. Starts out with that first finger on the D. Let's give it a shot. One, two, three. One, two, three. Part. 
that is it. If you'd like, you can stop there and you have learned an awesome fiddle tune, one of my favorites, and you can play that with your friends, you can play that at your family parties, you can take it on the road, go on tour, make zillions of dollars playing that for, you know, crowded like football stadiums. And if you want, you can take it to the next level by learning the variation. So let's dive into that. This is the variation that I played in the arrangement that you heard at the beginning of this video. We're just gonna add a few fancy dancy things. So we're gonna add a slide, a double stop, and a melodic variation that's kind of cool. Let's start off with the slide. A slide is a really nice basic Irish fiddle ornament to have up your sleeve. All you're doing is you're sliding one of your left hand fingers from a lower position to a higher position. So if the note that you wanna play is this first finger on the D, but you wanna add a slide, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with that first finger a little closer to the scroll, a little further down. So you're gonna go like this. I'm gonna give you an up close shot of that. So you're starting a half step lower and then you're arriving at the note that you intended to play. Here's how that'll sound in the tune. into the tune. Remember with slides, you want to make this really quick. You don't want it to be this really long, slow, not really the sound we're going for. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. The next thing we're going to add is a double stop. So this goes into the part of the tune where it goes. Remember that? What you're going to do is for that open A, you're going to play the open D as well. So double stops just mean playing two strings at once with your bow. Your bow is finding the plane that those two strings create and playing both of them at the same time. Here's an up close shot of that. So in this part of the tune, here's what it'll sound like. just the A string when we play this phrase, we're going to play the D and the A string together, and then the rest of the phrase. Let's try that a few times. And if you're having any difficulties with double stops, I also made a video with some tips on that. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do in the variation, this is actually pretty fancy dancy. It's a little advanced, but it's gonna sound really cool. This is a melodic variation. We're actually changing the melody of the B part of the tune a little bit. The general idea of it is we're gonna play a little part of the B part one octave lower than we would normally play it in the original tune. Don't really have to worry about that. We can just learn it and try it out. So it comes in after we play the first half of the B part. So after all of this. When that part ends, we end on an open E. Going on from there, we're gonna go. Whoa, a whole bunch of new notes. So it's kind of this waterfall of notes heading down to the D string. It's gonna go open E, third finger on A, first finger, open A, third finger on D, second finger on D. Putting that all together, it sounds like this. And now we are on our first finger on the D string and it's gonna sound like this. like what we play on the E string, but it's an octave lower. Let's try that. One, two, three. So that's one, two, one, three, two, one. And the next part is going to sound like this. One, two, three. melodic ideas happening there. Starting on your open D, it'll go open D, second finger on G, open G, 
first finger on G, second finger, and then open D again. So let's try that. One, two, three. And then thank goodness we are on the last line of the tune, which is the same as we remember it. melodic variation. So it starts out with that cascade of notes going down to the D string. So we're starting on the E string and it'll sound like this. One, two, three. And then we play to the end of the B part. So that's our variation. I'm just gonna play it all the way through. Again, if you want printable sheet music for this, you can check out the link in the description. Starting from the beginning of the tune, let's give it a shot. Starting with a slide to your first finger. One, two, three, one, two, slide. Double stop. Double stop again. on it. Again, if you want printable sheet music and practice tracks for the tune, the variation that we learned, as well as a harmony part, backup parts, and a chord chart, you can find all of that at the link in the description. You can also vote for topics for videos that I make, and you'll find sheet music, practice tracks, and fiddle lesson videos for a whole bunch of other tunes. Thanks so much again for tuning in, you guys, and happy fiddling! I'll see you in the next video. Bye!